Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement. Don't know why I'm dancing this way, but I am. Maybe it's because we are watching season one, episode three of Lucifer, what I'm watching from Netflix. I'm having such a good time, especially with all you alls. The fact that Lucifer has had a major breakthrough already in character for two episodes is intriguing. He's realizing that being on earth for as long as it is changing him, and instead of being scared, he's like excited and like embracing what, what else is gonna come. I find that fascinating. <laughs> Another thing I found fascinating was rewatching episode two was the whole case, the case of the day. It was so flimsy, I mean, it was so, <laughs> hmm, somebody's been killed. This guy's confessing, but we don't think it is. Who else could it be? The only other character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, so difficult to figure out. And I know the case is the plot device, but, <laughs> but, okay, so I'm excited to get to it. So we're going to get under the cozy, comfy blanket. You're going to remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon. Would love to see you there. What else? I don't know. I'm not really drinking anything right now because I drank yesterday, so I'm, yeah, so, okay, let's just get to it. What happened with Lucifer? You don't get it, do you? He's you the devil! He's the devil! He's the devil! That is the one thing about, um, Lucifer. I'll have to save it for later because I'm going to want to pay attention. <laughs> Turn around. Don't encourage her. Go on. No, don't encourage her. Jump. No, you won't. Trust me. It's a warm welcome. But won't it hurt? There's only one way to find out. Oh, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I was like, no. Someone catch her. Have one drink with me. I can't. Right? How can you decline this ravishing siren's invitation to imbibe? I sincerely doubt constant rejection is something you ever deal with. <laughs> you could learn a thing or two from this guy. Mm. Witty, charming, and wise. Have you lost your mind? Do I know you? Lucifer, morning star. All right, you're the club owner guy who grants people favors. Oh. Oh, he's got a reputation of that. Favor giver. You are in desperate need of my help. Star quarterback, number one draft pick, and yet for some inexplicable reason, a virgin. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not criticizing. I'm fascinated. Yes, he would be fascinated. I appreciate it. My well, agent wanted me to throw this party. Oh. Ooh. If you were to let her, let go. What is it you'd really want to do? There's just enough crazy in his eyes. I'll just get my morning workout sometimes. Boring. Just chill on the couch and watch Master Chef. This is the fantasy life of a postmenopausal mm -hmm. housewife. Come on, Ty. There must be something deeper. No, he just wants the mundane. I want to get laid so damn bad. <laughs> and there it is. You got no idea how hard it is holding out for parents, man. Uncomfortably hard, I'm sure. But I was going to with my girl, but we broke up. Come on, Ty, it's the fourth quarter, but you can still win this game. No, I can't. But you desire her. Does he? Does he desire her? Oh, hello again, my little cannonball. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm the devil. Hope you hold it against me. The guy who owns Lux? That's me. No, it's not. I've seen him before. His beats are sick. Someone's impersonating him? It's so gross that you're pretending to be someone you're not. <laughs> So who's impersonating Lucifer? We got something really bad happened. <gasps> oh, she died. She is died. Help me, please. I need that favor. Right. <laughs> Mommy, did Daddy forget to pick me up? Oh no. No, monkey. I'm sure he's just stuck in traffic. Without calling to say I, I'm stuck in traffic, as one should if they're running behind. Lucifer, how did you even get this number? 
because I am the devil. What's the emergency? Well, it's, it's better to show and tell, really. And they did, he, he didn't call 911 first? <laughs> I guess he roundabout did, however. I had a hangover, I, I've never drank before, so. That's on me, sorry. Did you know her? Not before last night. Her name was uh, Allie, maybe. I don't know, I mean, I'm having a hard time remembering. So why didn't you call the police right away? Well, I told Lucifer, he said, he said that he would call the police. And I did. <laughs> Personal police concierge. <laughs> well, you are now, pumpkin. No, but they asked me to get the, the guest list. 250 guests, you know what that means. That you know of. Oh, well, I'd be careful with that thing in the guest bedroom. It's a good chance to go blind. <laughs> Unspeakable acts. Yes. We got a little carried away. Huh? The coroner puts the time to death between 1 and 3 a.m. Ooh. That's a big time gap. Did anyone look suspicious? Well, where do we start, Detective? I mean, look at those big, strong hands. Ginger lad. Soulless bastards. Give even me the creeps. So unless you can help me with either, stay. But I don't want to be stuck out here with these miscreants. These are your people. Your people. <laughs> Ew. Does everyone's coats and bags left behind? <laughs> We're still there. I came as quick as I could. Yeah, and on time. I'm sorry about earlier, okay? I got held up at an arrest in Hollywood. I couldn't get away. What the fuck for? Allie Thornton, 23, from Boise, Idaho. Her info matches the registration we found in the glove box. She was a long way from home. What were you doing here, Allie? I think the same thing all the young girls from Midwest countries do out in L.A. Making a new life. What the hell are you doing? He recorded it. I decided to make myself useful. You call watching porn on your phone useful? This isn't my phone, detective. I think it's our recently departed. <gasps> Where did he find it? And where, and she was recording herself. Oh, you reached the money shot. Are you taping this? He's got a motive. Cough him. Wait, what? Ty Huntley, you're under arrest for the murder of Allie Thornton. Well, you, you don't have evidence. You just have a very strong motivation. That's not evidence. Although it's his house. Her fingernail was in his bed. Still, you could take him in for questioning, right? But you wouldn't arrest him for murder just yet. Ty had a squeaky clean image. He sleeps with a girl. Then he finds out she's taping him. She's going to ruin everything. He was horny, not murderous. Then why would he lie about it? Blame the tequila. He had motive and opportunity. We'll look into it. You can go now. His hair is so dark and lush. That was the LAPD. Was Detective Decker calling to apologize. Financial investigations unit. <gasps> Hmm? Apparently, you destroyed the honeymoon suite at the Budget Hut in Tarzana last night. The Budget Hut? It's the fake Lucifer! And then someone with your name and credit card skipped out on a $2,000 tab at Zany Wings. <laughs> $2,000 at Zany Wings? Who eats $2,000 in chicken wings? Budget huts and Zany Wings? I mean, this malfessant reprobate is diluting the Lucifer brand! <laughs> Sounds like this guy's really gotten under your skin. Typical mm -hmm. in a town full of charlatans. Is it possible you might be overreacting a bit? How would you feel if some off-the-rack imposter was dragging your name through the trenches of Encino? <laughs> Someone stole my identity a few years back, and mm -hmm. after a few long calls to the IRS and the bank, everything was fine. Was it? Was it? There might be some displacement. I'll show you displacement when I displace his bollocks and throw them on the floor and stamp on them one at a time. Why don't you tell me again about this case you were working on? A girl was killed and Detective Decker's going after the wrong person. But why if, what if she wasn't though? Sounds like Ty probably had nothing to do with this murder or someone helped him into a bad situation and that bothers you. Yes. Why? He was the one! Because I punished the guilty and Ty's not guilty. Unless 
My thought is maybe Lucifer's mojo was off and, and Ty is guilty and he just doesn't believe he could be. I'm here to see Ty Huntley's agent, Joe Hansen. I'm sorry, without an appointment. If your clients do all the work, yet you chaps make all the money. Really? And they call me the devil. <laughs> if ever I return to hell, you kids will be my first call. <laughs> Detective! A word. That coat does not look LA. Like, it's LA, but that's like not a detective coat and way too warm for LA. Well, that's what I'm here to find out, and that's why you can go now. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, the fact that you think I'm gonna go, it's hilarious actually. <laughs> You step out of line one time. You can give me a right good spanking, I promise. Come on, let's go. I'm so distracted by her coat. <laughs> I didn't even go to the party. I had to work. You spoke to the victim a few hours before she was killed. Maybe it's best if I don't say anything without my attorney. Joey! Joe, <laughs> Joe, there's no need for that. What desires drive a man such as yourself? <laughs> I love how Chloe's like, What's he going to say? And to do that, I need to protect my clients. <sighs> Let's make a deal. Mm. Here's the deal. You tell us everything and I don't cuff you in front of your coworkers and take you in. Okay. I did call Allie. I hired her to have sex with Ty. Wow. I needed him to get over his ex. Mm. Deborah McCall. She left this behind one of the many times she came here trying to find him. She, after a while, never got possessive, controlling. She thought she was oh. managing them. I made Ty file a restraining order after she broke a girl's nose just for buying him a mojito. If Deborah found out that Ty was with that poor girl. So where is Deborah? Finally, some rain. Maybe someone up there is looking out for us. I can assure you, he's in no way meteorologically inclined. Apart from the whole Noah thing, that was a one-off. <laughs> Why are you so hell-bent on proving Ty's not the killer? Is it because you pushed him towards Allie at the party? Well, I don't see what that has to do with anything. There she is. She looks like she's in a completely different generation than Ty. Ask you a few questions about Ty Huntley. Leave me alone, Deborah. <gasps> Well, that's excessive. Extra excessive. Remote detonator. Whoever set off this bomb was nearby. Well, if they were nearby, they wait. They went too fast. <laughs> they didn't wait till she got in the car. The bomb was triggered remotely. I don't think the plan was to kill you. I think they wanted to scare you. Because why did you run, Deborah? Awfully guilty looking. I thought you were gonna bust me for violating my restraining order. I went to Ty's party last night. <gasps> she was there. And we never stay broken up, it's just a phase. Where were you between 1 and 3 a.m. this morning? <laughs> How long does this go on? <laughs> three hours. Good God. Three hours of ice cream eating, wow. So Deborah didn't strangle Allie. But whoever planted the bomb went to great lengths to make us think Deborah did it. Okay, this case is a lot more complicated than last week's case, that's for certain. The big Hollywood fixer? Yeah. A security cam caught her walking nearby right after the explosion. Ronnie is a pro. So how do we approach her? Lucifer. Definitely no cops. Lucifer. What about... Do we get a code word? You know, for when you take her down. <laughs> And you won't need a code word. And you won't be mic'd because she'll be looking for that. This is a simple handoff. All we need you to do is vouch for Dan as someone that needs her services. Now, are you up for this or not? Am I up for encouraging someone to commit a nefarious act? Mm, let me think. Put me in, coach. <laughs> Try to look even more like a douche. Mission accomplished. That whole booth to himself. Ronnie Hellman, problem solver extraordinaire. Does Lucifer know her? Know her? 
Oh, she's checking in for wires. Hello, Mr. Morningstar. Rest assured, I can help you with your problem. Well, actually, I don't need your help. I... Wait, what do you think my problem is? <gasps> Imposter running around ruining your name? Yep, yep, yep. She's gonna distract him. As has your sexual one, I'm afraid. All those unsatisfied ladies. Word gets around. Uh-oh. That is the reason you reached out to me, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it very much is. I, I am all yours. Oh, I like you, monkey bottoms. <laughs> Here's what I need you to do. Audible. Still talking. And now she's gone. <gasps> Did they get this imposter so quickly? <laughs> hey, do you think it's funny? Got him in a similar suit. <laughs> resemblance is uncanny. Sure. No, no. <laughs> certainly is not. How could anyone think that you were me? You know who you're messing with? I'm Lucifer freaking Morningstar. Oh, are you now? How did uh, Lucifer get the credit card? And I hear you've also been very active with the women. Ladies love me. What can I say? It's what they've been saying that's the trouble. It seems you're a bit of a two-pump chump. Also a crier afterwards. <laughs> Well, we can't have you running around cheapening the Lucifer brand now, can we? I say the rack. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I just wanted to get chicks and, and free drinks. My name is Justin. I'm from Sherman Oaks. <laughs> and I just told some girls that I own the place and, and that opened some doors for me. How dare you abscond my name? Please don't hurt me. Oh. I'm not going to hurt you, Justin. I'm going to destroy you. This is so hot. It's like you're punishing yourself. <gasps> oh. Seems I could be just um overreacting a bit. No, 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 no! Give in, give in to it. Give in to it. Go on. Have him pay you back. And never sully my name again. You needed to brand him or something. Let's at least take a finger. Yes! A finger! Minimum! The thumb. Take the thumb. Pleasure doing business with you, Lucifer. Yeah, which is why I'm going to have to apologize for my friends. Would you mind calling my lawyer? I'll tell her about the kidnapping, the airtight evidence we have, the attempted murder on Deborah McCall, and then when we connect you to Ali Thornton's murder, maybe you'll get a nice injection of drugs and you can go to sleep forever. Wow. Wow, Chloe. You went dark fist. Fast. Deborah McCall, Ty Huntley's ex. She's the murderer. I cared about Allie. Mm -hmm. She cared about Allie. I promised Allie I would protect her. All she ever wanted was to be an actress. She was going to leave her mark. And she ran out of money. This was her first gig with me. I thought Ty's agent hired Allie to sleep with him. He hired me for a number three special. Blackmail. <gasps> Slip him a roofie, get naked, whip out a selfie stick, and voila. Ty's agent told you that Deborah killed Allie. He did? This is getting complicated or convoluted. Well, maybe he found out she went to Ty's party. Maybe he knew she went to Ty's party. Because he told her to go? The police tried to pin the death of that poor girl on you, but we kept it out of the press. Hmm. Did they? This is Ty Huntley rebranded. Hmm. Rebranded, eh? Does it come with a new scent? Free toy inside. Ty wouldn't hurt anybody. What about Deborah? I told you to look into her. She's the crazy one. Does, does Ty know that Joe said look into Deborah? But Deborah was home with a friend the night of the murder. What? His sponsors will love the free publicity. Tell me, what's 10% of nothing? I saw Deborah there. And how would he have seen Deborah then? I went by the party. But a work call came up and I never made it inside. 
When I was driving away, I saw Deborah outside Ty's window. We have a sworn statement from Ronnie Hillman saying that you hired the victim to make a sex tape with Ty to blackmail him. I just needed to place you at the scene. <sighs> See, that's why I don't lie. It's so hard to keep track of who knows what. Exactly. Why is it my own agent would want to blackmail me? Because he thought eventually you are going to leave him. Well, because I took one meeting with another agency? If he left me, I would be ruined. Oh, he's monologuing now. <laughs> but Ali wasn't cut out for this sort of thing, was she? She didn't want to give you the video. Stupid bitch. She says she realized Ty was a good guy. Why are you saying all this freely in front of all these people? <laughs> I don't think I can get any higher of a voice. I didn't want to hurt her. I just wanted her phone. And... Squeeze too hard. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Forget this. I'm out of here. <laughs> so super strength. Check. Did I squeeze too hard? <sighs> Lucifer, what are you doing? Finally focusing my anger where it belongs. Lucifer. I just got distracted by her coat again. <laughs> Your turn, detective. <laughs> it's a great lapel. It's a great lapel on her coat. But you know what you are? Uh, you stay good to your word, Thank you. Yes, well, now you owe me one. Mm. No. Yes, you are crazy, baby. <laughs> but you're my crazy, you hear me? Oh, jeez. <laughs> we solved this one together. Or are you too egotistical to acknowledge my help? Okay, yeah, you didn't completely destroy the case. You can stop blaming yourself. Great. Whatever do you mean? The whole reason you tried to prove Ty's innocence? Was mm -hmm. to catch the true culprit? Yeah, sure. <sighs> you were right. I was, um, uh, what's the word? Displacing? Displacing my <laughs> anger and frustration on Lucifony because... Lucifony. Why did you decide to come to Los Angeles? Well, same reason as everyone else. Uh, the weather. You know, you say, you say people are phony here, but I think people come here to reinvent themselves. And I think that's why you're here. Mm. To reinvent yourself. Yeah, well, I think you don't just enjoy punishing the bad guy. I think you're starting to like seeking justice by the good ones. Mmm. Mmm. It's another reason to hate LA. All this self indulgent therapy you should be ashamed. You're doing it again. <laughs> what? Displacing. Displacing. No, I'm not. And that's denial. That's a river in Africa. So she's got a pull out couch in her back office? Like. <laughs> uh. I love how they just get all this camera footage from who knows where so easily. Can she see his glowy red eyes in the black and white film? No, that'd be cool. Okay, so the thought I had before that I, okay. Witches. Whenever you watch, read, listen to something, you always bring with you your past self, what you've learned, seen, experienced in the past. So when it comes to a character, Lucifer, Satan, devil, depending on how you're raised and grown up, sometimes you'll immediately want to go Lucifer, devil, Satan, evil, evil, does evil things, bad, bad, evil, evil, evil. So when we see stories and projects and movies and whatnot with a character that is the devil, especially like for me, I don't know, especially for me, but I don't know if you have like for that half a second, your brain goes evil. Oh, the gut check of he's going to do something bad, but, <laughs> but this is a character. It's more nuanced than that. There's more layers to it. Lucifer himself is not evil, especially specifically in this story he's not the person doing things. This specific character is just bringing out his angle. What do you want most? And then encouraging you to do it, whether it's good or bad. 
not necessarily evil, just maybe not the best things. So I don't know how long it's going to take me when you first see Lucifer on the screen of him going, he's going to do the bad thing. He's going to make the girl jump off the building, which he did, which is bad. Is it evil? I don't know. But she's just doing a cannonball. You find out later context. But yeah, I find that fascinating that that gut is there. <laughs> but no, this is what's great about Lucifer is that it's not good and evil, him doing the bad things. It's just encouraging the chaos. And now him spinning out to encourage a chaos in a way that is beneficial. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so I do think it's funny we have the flip side, whereas last week's case was pretty flimsy and this one got really convoluted. <laughs> okay, maybe there'll be a happy medium somewhere along the way. I don't know, but funny. <laughs> I find it funny. Will we see Ronnie again? For some reason, I think that character, I would not be surprised if she just kind of pops up here and there along the way. Why? I don't know. Are we going to see the Lucifony again in the future? Or did he learn his lesson? I don't know if this is that kind of a series or not yet. Because again, we're only episode three. And already we have so many interesting points of discussion about character and dialogue and motivation and personalities and the layers. I love the layers. So then what do we get next? What do we get next? I'm so excited to find out. And I please, please, I would like for you to there, be there with me for those adventures. So, okay, hit subscribe if you haven't already so you know when the next one drops. And take care of yourselves. Please stretch your bodies. Uh, we just have had the time change. So I hope I wish you great recovery <laughs> from it. Uh, go get something to eat. And then you're going to come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.